So I'm headed up to the Kane Valley today to uh, get a trail cam I put up about a year ago. And we have to take Highway 7 to bypass Hope because the forest fire, they closed Highway 1. So it's a bit of a grind. It's pretty smoky out here. But once we get to Hope, hopefully we can jump on the Coquihalla from there and it won't be too, won't be too bad. So now we're at a dead stop on Highway 7, line up. I almost got rear-ended by that truck behind me. I actually had to drive into the oncoming lane. Luckily no one was coming. So did a bunch of other vehicles. But yeah, we'll see how long this takes. Well, we're almost at the exit into Hope an hour later since we stopped. The sign says Highway 8 is closed. So that's through Manning Park. So there's a forest fire that way too. So the closed Highway 8. We're taking Highway 3, which is the Coquihalla. Right now we're on Highway 7. We gotta go through Hope. Back out onto Highway 1, which turns into Highway 3. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I picked the wrong day to come get this fucking trail cam. But what the hell else am I going to do? Sit in Chilliwack in the smoke? So, probably take us 45 minutes to get through Hope back on the highway. On the, under the highway. I'm so confused. Anyways, that's the update. Okay. All that stuff I said about the highways, the numbers, I think I was completely wrong. I don't know the numbers. We're taking the Coquihalla. It's number five, Highway 5. Highway 3 is the one that goes through Manic Park. I think I said Highway 8. Anyways, we made it through Hope. We're on the Coquihalla. And we should be up the Cane Valley roughly an hour. Still really smoky. But traffic's not bad now. Well, I was hoping the smoke was gone up here, but it's not. It's just as smoky as it is down by uh, Chilliwack, so that sucks. Brought myself a nice steak and some vegetables to cook up by a river later, but I don't know. This is smoky. I might just get that trail camera and just head back. We'll see. Okay, so this area has totally changed since the last time I was here. They've logged it and it's smoky, so good thing I got my GPS. That's where the camera is. Let's go see if we can find it, if it's still there. I got a hunch it's down here. Let's go check it out.
So I remember oh, when I was putting it up, I saw this game game trail coming down and I'm pretty sure it's up here. I can't believe I found it if I did. And then, somewhere in a bit of a clearing, like this strip of clearing here. It's on one of these trees, I think. Can't believe I found it. If this is the spot. Oh, maybe it's not the spot. Actually, that stump looks familiar. Huh. Oh shit, there it is. Oh yeah. Here it is. Coming home, Highway 1 eastbound is open. You can see on our left, the Flood Falls Trail wildfire near Hope. The blaze is believed to be human caused and it spread to an estimated 545 hectares. the trail cam footage let's go through it see what we got so first one is 10 17 2021 604 p.m. well that's me and I'm setting up the camera and that was at 604 a.m. so p.m. and p.m. and a.m. are messed up so 10 is October so that's October 17 2021 604 a.m. setting up the camera all right October 25th, 2021, 9.20 a.m. We got a doe coming in. Hard to tell if it's a white tail or a mule deer. Okay, there she is. Looks like a white tail to me. She's got brownish fur, white rings around the eyes. I'd say a white tail. Correct me if I'm wrong, but looks like a white tail. There she is again. All right, so now we're into November 1st, 2021, 6.21 a.m. Looks like we got some snow. And there she is in the back. That looks like a white tail because you can see her back end. Her tail's probably up. The camera probably is spooking them. November 2nd, looks like she's back. There she is, broadside, and leaving. Now we're at 10.45 a.m. on November 2nd. I don't know if that's the same door or not. And there's, there we have the back end of a deer. Looks like a doe. Looks like a white tail. November 3rd, 2021 at 9.40 a.m. All right, looks like we got a buck, maybe. Behind the ear there, I can see a tine sticking out, an antler. And it's November 3rd, 2021 at 7.53 p.m. Next picture, we got a buck. And it looks to me 
Is that a mule deer or a whitetail? Mule deer, the tines split like on like a fork off of the main beam, whereas a whitetail, you get the main beam and the tines all come off of it. And it looks like it's like that. You can see how thick his neck is, probably still from the rut, all the testosterone. But it looks like a four point to me. Nice buck. Okay, there we go again. One, two, three, four. Looks like a four point. But I'd say that's a whitetail. Because now it looks like you got the main beam and you got them coming off. Oh wait, it could be a different deer. This is a different date. This is November 6, 2021, 12, 16 a.m. Is that a different buck? Or is it the same buck? All right, November 17th, 2021, 1.47 a.m. Looks like we got a couple of does running in. And then leaving. Yeah, it looked like a white tail. She's got her tail up. November 17, 2.08 a.m. We got a doe coming in. Okay, November 24, 21, 10.33 a.m. in the morning. Looks like we got one, two, three does. We got one in mid-flight. Almost looks like a wolf, <laughs> kind of. But it looks like three deers, three does. All right, so now we're into January 2nd, right? Nope, this is December 2nd, 21. 5.07 p.m., we got a doe, it looks like. All right, December 3rd, 21, 3.59 p.m., looks like we got a two-point buck. December 3rd, 9.28 p.m., we got a doe coming in. Okay, December 3rd, 12.20 p.m., we got a nice white-tailed doe. You can tell by her tail there. And this is December 10th, 10, 12, 10 a.m. It's minus nine. Looks like we got a deer walking away. All right, December 26th, Boxing Day, 12, 11 p.m., minus 28. Looks like we got a... What the hell made those tracks? We got an orb. So we got a Sasquatch. It looks like it's just cloaked. And there's its tracks. Okay, January 1st, no, January 19th, 2022, looks like we got something in there, 2.38 p.m., minus 5, what is that, coyote, wolf, fox, it's a wolf maybe, there we go, what is that guy, January 19th, 4.44 PM. Is that a coyote or a wolf? I can't tell. I don't know what that is. Huh. If anyone knows what that is, if it's a coyote or a wolf, let me know in the comments below. Looks like we got a snowshoe hare on, uh, oh, January, February, March, March 22nd. So no activity till March 22nd, almost three months. 508, 5.08 PM, minus two. Okay, so January, February, March, April, April 12th, 2022, 6.45 p.m., minus 7. Let me know if you guys can find it. I see it. He's hidden in there, but okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to switch to the next picture. Let's see what we see. There we go. We got a bobcat, that's pretty cool. Sneaky, look how good he's camouflaged. Huh. You can tell he's a bobcat by his bobtail there. 
Cool. We got ourselves a cow moose. Back end of her. And that would be April 13, 2022. 10.47 p.m. Minus... Th no. It's not 10.47 p.m. Now the a.m. p.m. thing looks like it's right. How does that work? Huh. I don't know. That can't be at night, though. And this is back to normal yeah so I don't know it's working now so it looks like we got a fox or a coyote or a wolf again I, I can't really tell looks like it's got a smaller snout I'm almost thinking coyote and that's January February March April May so this is May 3rd at 10 38 p.m. one degree there we are again looking at us cool well that's it it's pretty interesting to see all those different animals what time of year they're coming in what the weather's like and what time of day all right guys thanks for watching